Hello everybody, welcome to this week. This week we are doing some no-sew projects. You will need some good scissors, some solid fabrics that won't tear or fray easily, uh, maybe a cotton stretchy shirt or something. You'll need some glue. I recommend hot glue. You could use fabric glue. You will also need some stuffing for later this week. You can have some feathers or buttons if you want. You can have some little accent strings like hemp rope or embroidery thread or something. You may want some elastic or a clip. That is all that I can think that you'll need, uh, but you can add as much stuff to your projects as you want. That's totally up to you. So today we're making a bunch of cat toys. Right now I'm working on making a pom-pom out of fabric. And so I'm just making a bunch of strips. I think my strips are about three or four inches long and then I'm cutting them in half. Uh, you could start with like five or six inches. Uh, it would be much easier to work with that as opposed to something smaller. You can always make something smaller later. I would just get the hang of it with something bigger. So I just did a bunch of strips. I didn't count anything and I'm about to cut them all in half and then tie them all together. Once you have them all bunched up, if they don't look uh, fluffy enough, you can always add more. I took a strip of fabric to tie them. You could use hemp rope. Uh, I would stray away from string because cats like to eat string and that can get caught up in their intestines and hurt them. I'm sure fabric could too, but I think they're less likely to eat some fabric, probably. I don't know. Depends on your cat, I guess. And then I'm just going into the center of one of the sides and I'm gluing in some feathers, which are also bad for cats, but I put a lot of hot glue in there, so they shouldn't come out. So if your cat likes to play with balls, this kind of, or, or chase mice or something, this kind of resembles that, that type of toy. It's nice and fluffy and it's nice and thick. It's got some meat to it, you know, metaphorically. <laughs> also note, make sure you tie it very tightly so that nothing falls out. So this next one that I'm making, I did it the hard way first and I will show you. You just roll it up and then I took a strip and I glued it around it to try to hold it together I guess then I had to cut it and it was hard to cut because everything's all bunched together and my scissors aren't fabric scissors so I didn't want to go through most of the time and then once I did start cutting the fabric in the center which wasn't glued together started coming out of one of the sides so I am also going to show the more effective version of this toy so instead of rolling it up first first we are going to get a piece of paper or er, fabric that is about three times this, the length of our scissor blades and then we are going to cut the strips down the sides and then we are going to glue dots as we go in the center so that the fabric is nice and snug and doesn't come loose anywhere and then at the very end I put a nice uh, glob of hot glue and I tucked in the edge a little bit so that it was uh, less likely to fray. This is a nice little floppy toy for cats that like batten around floppy things or like tossing things up in the air. My cat likes doing that. My cat likes all toys. <laughs> He's a good boy. And then moving on to our last one, we are just gonna cut a few strips of fabric. Does not have to be many. It can be, they can be thicker or thinner. I chose about maybe a half inch to an inch length or width and I only cut three or four strips and then I, I ended up cutting one of the sides down because I was getting impatient and I cut it wrong. <laughs> and this fabric is weird so I just trimmed off this weird end. Don't worry about that. So I've got these strips and then we're just gonna knot them together. Just one knot or two knots if you have a longer um, chunk of strips, I guess. The longer the strings are, the easier they will be to uh, tie together. This is not stretchy fabric at all. <laughs> and it was really hard to tie it. So as you can see, I've got some uh, fat uh, ends on the one side, so I went ahead and I cut those in half. Not all the way down to the knot, just about. So this is another nice and floppy toy for a cat to bat around. I would love to see the toys that you make. I would love to see your cats playing with them especially. I would absolutely love that. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have a video of my cat playing with the toys. He's been sleeping all day. <laughs> I'll probably get him playing with them later and I will post a separate video on my social media pages. So make sure you do the same for me. Record your kitties and tag Samless Creations on any of my social media pages. I hope you found this craft to be fun. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.
gosh, that was so much talking.